everybody. Welcome to Big Kids Story Time. We have Whitney. Whitney and Stephanie. You know me. So today at Big Kids Story Time, guess what our letter is? What is it? The letter P. Can you think of a sound that P makes? P. You're right, Whitney. It's P. Do you know some words at home that start with P? If you do, why don't you put them in the comment section so we can talk about those later. Um, so P is a cool word because, again, it makes that pop 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 sound that Wendy told us. But P, when it's mixed with another letter, H, it makes a f, f, f sound like an F. Um, so if you see the letters P, H together, like in the word photo or photographer, it sounds like f, f in the beginning instead of p. p. My name, Stephanie, has a f, f, f sound in the middle, but it is actually spelled with a ph and not an f. So we'll learn about some more digraphs this um, fall as we I do letters each week, but this is the first one. It's really cool. and. Speaking of digraphs, our early literacy skill is what? Phonological awareness. And phonological awareness sounds like F, yeah. but it actually starts with? PH. Yes. Yeah, and what is phonological awareness? Phonological awareness is being aware of sounds and sounds that letters make. So what sound does P make? We talked about that. It makes P, P, P but it also makes f, f, but it only makes the f sound when p and h are together. So that is phonological awareness. Okay, now I think we need a joke, but for the joke, we need to see Miss Lou. <gasps> hey, when did you get here? Oh, I've been here. I got a joke. Are y'all ready to hear it? What do you say? to a pickle that's having a bad day. I don't know. Just deal with it. Deal, get it, ha 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 ha. Deal, like deal pickle. Yeah, I get it, it's, yeah, I get it. All right, well, speaking of bad days, I think Whitney is going to tell us about a p -p penguin that is having a very bad day indeed. Take it away, Whitney. All right, so here's Little Penguin. Let's see what's gonna happen with Little Penguin. Oh, hello. It's nice to meet you. Franklin said you would be here soon. I need your help. I've got a terrible case of the hiccups. It's driving me crazy. It all started last week on chilly night. Let me give you some advice. Never give chili to a penguin. It gives us hiccups. I tried to stand on my head to drink backward from a cup. Stand on my head and drink backward from a cup. Nothing works. But Franklin has given me a new idea. I need your help. I need you to scare me. Oh, okay. You're going to say boo in three. Ready? One, two, three. Try again. Louder. <gasps> this time. One, two, three. Boo! Boo! Pretty scary. Maybe that cured my. <gasps> Will I have <gasps> the hiccups forever? One more time. Shout! Go crazy. Ready? One, two, three. <gasps> told me to stand here and wait for a good scare and then you go and jump out at me and now my feathers are all wet and my mom will go barkers because she just washed these the other day. Now I'll have to wait. I'm ready to be scared again. Hey, hold on. My hiccups, they're gone. Oh, thank you so much. Let's celebrate with a nice spicy taco. Yay. 
Oh, no, 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 no. <gasps> oh, no. He's got the hiccups again. <gasps> oh, well. Maybe we'll have to scare him more next time. Get him even more scared. All right, were you surprised? Did the orca surprise you? Surprise me. You know who else was surprised? Penguin! And Penguin lost his hiccups. That's so great. So who was the star? Who was the star of this flannel? Was it the orca or was it Penguin? I think it was Penguin. But speaking of stars, I know Stephanie has another star she's gonna tell us about. All right, everybody. This is possibly my favorite star. It's Pig the Star. So we are gonna read this book because P is our letter of the week. Every time we hear a new P word, we're gonna hear this sound. So when you hear this sound, I want you to remember that word because we're gonna review them later with Miss Whitney and Barbara, her friend. Okay, so this book is Pig the Star by Aaron Blaby. Aaron actually wrote this book and he illustrated it. And guess what? This is so cool. He signed our copy of the book. Oh my gosh, we're famous. We have a signed book. Um, this book is actually published by Scholastic Press in New York. So pick the star. Pig was a pug, and I'm sorry to say, he just loved attention. He'd show off all day. Look at me, I'm the best, I'm a star. But then came the day Pig took it too far. Yes, Trevor and Pig had a big photo shoot. They wore little costumes and oh goodness they looked really cute. Isn't this fun? Giggle, giggled Trevor with glee. Look he says king of rock and roll. But Pig pushed right past him and yelled look at me. Are I just Fabulous, aren't I divine? Now back off, Salami. These costumes are mine. Yes, Pig rolled the photos. He hogged every shot. He whispered to Trevor, I'm in and you're and under the lights, as the camera went snap, Pig felt like a star. And he started to rap. Yo, I'm a star, y'all. Yeah, dog, I'm the best. Now get me a donut, you sausage-shaped pest. That's rude. But then something happened that changed the whole shoot. A man with the camera said, hey, that dog is really cute. Wow, Trevor's a star, the photographer said. Pig couldn't believe it, and he saw red. That mean? He's all red. Looks really mad. He shrieked, I'm the star! And he knocked Trevor flat. But Trev bumped his rocket and the rocket went. What do you think?
days it's different and I'm happy to say pigs dreadful antics have all but gone away he's not such a show-off he's not such a swine and although it annoys him he lets Trevor shine the end Pig. I'll tell you what, he's something else. I isn't know. He? So we learned a lot of new p words in that book. You wanna? Is your friend ready? Does she wanna see. come out? And Barbara, you ready? You ready? Oh, hello, everyone. Hello, Miss Stephanie. Hi, Barbara. Yes, hello, Barbara. Yes. I need your help. We heard a lot of p words today. Yes, I heard. Do, okay, do you remember which ones they were? Well, let's see. I remember Pickle from Miss Lou's joke. Oh, that was so funny. It was funny. I thought I, I love Miss Lou's joke. Jokes. Yes, okay. So the next one was Penguin. Mm -hmm. And we heard Pig and Pog. And okay, did you hear any words that started with F? that you think maybe was PH together? Oh yes, that one's tricky, but I heard photographer and photo and and Stephanie, which has it in the middle, which we already talked about. Wow, you're you're great at this. Barbara, do you want to do this every week? Well, uh, maybe. I have a very busy schedule, you see. But I will come if Miss Stephanie's here. But, oh, okay. I'll be here every week. Oh. I'm so honored, Barbara. Thank you. Me yes. too. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, well, I'm going to go now. I need to go powder my nose. Well, thank you for showing up, Barbara. Thank you. You did such a great job. Yes, yes. Okay, goodbye. Okay, bye. She's goodbye. obviously very busy. Has she somewhere is to go. very busy. We have somewhere to go, too. We have to go, like, really go. Mm -hmm. Because story comes over. So, do you remember our goodbye song? Start up, put your hand up. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug. Blow a kiss, jellyfish. See you soon, big baboon. Out the door, dinosaur. Take care, polar bear. Wave goodbye, butterfly. Bye. Bye, guys. We'll see you in two weeks.